There are forces trying to take us back mm -hmm. to another time and another place. In 2018, we met Congressman John Lewis as he spoke to young people at the Community Coalition in South Los Angeles. But we didn't give up. We didn't give in. We kept the faith and we kept our eyes on the prize. In his 20s, Lewis became a top deputy for Martin Luther King Jr. He helped organize 1963's March on Washington and successfully lobbied for 1965's Voting Rights Act. Get in Trevor! Good Trevor! Necessary Trevor! Over decades of nonviolent protests, Lewis was arrested 45 times. In 1965, he was viciously beaten while crossing the Edmund Pettus Bridge in Selma, Alabama. Lewis's story, portrayed in the Oscar-winning film Selma, we talked about it with him, sitting alongside Congresswoman Karen Bass. When people were beating us, or pouring hot water, hot coffee, or spitting on us, we looked straight ahead. And we knew deep down within that we were going to have a victory. Lewis served in Congress since being elected in 1986. In 2011, America's first African-American president presented him with the nation's highest honor, the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Just this year, Lewis's fight for racial justice continued in the wake of George Floyd's death. The young people, our children, are going to help us get there. So they've been reading the words of Dr. King that hate is too heavy a burden to bear. What do you think Dr. King would think of this particular moment in history? Dr. King would say, be brave, be courageous, be bold, stand up, speak up, and speak out, and help redeem the soul of America. What do you see as your legacy, as the lesson you want everybody to take from your life that you pass on to all these kids? I said to young people, and people not so young, I just tried to help out. Just try to help out. Try to make a contribution. Thank you all very, very much. <laughs> Congressman Bass, you see there, says that Lewis was the most respected member of Congress on either side of the aisle. His passion on that day and every day was inspiring young people to be more engaged in the process to create a more just world. And Karen Bass tweeting tonight, his loss is a blow to the entire nation. So we have more politicians who consider John Lewis a friend and a mentor tweeting their condolences. From House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, John Lewis was a titan of the civil rights movement whose goodness, faith, and bravery transformed our nation. Every day of his life was dedicated to bringing freedom and justice to all. From former President Bill Clinton, John Lewis gave all he had to redeem America's unmet promise of equality and justice for all and to create a place for us to build a more perfect union. Together, in so doing, he became the conscience of the nation. From California Senator Kamala Harris, John Lewis was an icon who fought with every ounce of his being to advance the cause of civil rights for all Americans. I'm devastated for his family, friends, staff, and all those whose lives he touched. My friend, thank you for showing the world what good trouble looks like. And from California Governor Gavin Newsom, who quoted Lewis saying, when you see something that is not right, not just, not fair, you have a moral obligation to do something. Tonight, the world lost a legend. Let us honor his life and memory with action. Rest in power. Alex, you got to interview him. Amazing. You know, to a younger generation, I feel he's that father figure who was in the trenches, in the fight for equality, mm -hmm. who literally walked the walk, mm -hmm. walked amongst the greatest of leaders in our nation. Um, one, you know, I'm humbled by his commitment, his stamina, his passion, for what he believed in, how he paved the way for people of color to even sit in a chair such as this. Mm. I mean, to me, he's, he is a North Star that we should all look towards uh, for guidance in terms of integrity, kindness, passion, uh, and doing the right thing at whatever cost. John Lewis made our world better, and he is proof that one man has the power to change history. Mm, he really did.